So it looks like uh, the first request up we have is, did I say that right? That sounds weird. The first request we're going to do is from 808 Kurt, aka Kurt 808. What's up, Chaotic Blue? You made it. All you missed was a, an, an epic jam and a, and a super funny intro that I, that I made up as I went. I don't need to watch it later. <laughs> See, here we go. Tangents already. First video, 808 Kurt. Uh, this is Mick Mars Undone. Interesting. Mick Mars, this is Vivo. I hope it... Oh, it's fucking Twitch. I don't care. <laughs> Mick Mars Undone. Mick Mars is uh, the guitarist for Motley Crue. Uh, he didn't... F He's one of the founding members of Motley Crue, yeah. The old guy of the group. And the way it's looking, probably the guy with the most talent. Molly Crew was a band that uh, kind of liked by default when I was younger. And then I realized that they're really not, uh, I don't know. I've never liked Vince Neil as a singer, like ever. So it's kind of hard to like a band when you, you don't like the singer. And so anyway, he won't be involved in this, which is good. Let's check it out. Mick Mars Undone. I think I may have given this a glance at a listen. Oh shit. I'm gonna bring thoughts pounding in my head. The hush regrets of all that I have broken. It's heavier than anything Molly Crew did. I think it's pretty good. I don't know, man. I like the, dude, the singer's voice is good. I don't dislike anything he's doing. Music's nice and heavy. It's pretty slow. Slow and dirgy, but pretty pretty freaking good. Got a strat with the Floyd Rose. Strat, metal with a strat. I like that. Haha, <laughs> rhymes. The empty mills creeps up inside. Drowning out the I'll be really honest here. This would be left on a station longer than most of the crap I hear on Octane, fucking Sirius XM. I can't listen to that station hardly anyway. This would sit well on that station, but it would be a song that I would I would listen to. 
trying to think exactly why I like it better. I don't know what it is. If it's just not old, if it doesn't have one of those hundred fucking singers that sound exactly the same. Like, the music fits in with, with stuff from the 90s, 2000s, but uh, it, it's not, it doesn't have the same response <laughs> i like it dude whatever the fuck's going on i like it. it's just it's a, just a simple heavy song man here we go Ruby Mel- Mel- this is a damn good song, dude. Fuck Molly Crew. <laughs> Wish Mick would have done uh, more solo stuff. It's, it sounds wonderfully modern, man. He wrote a really, really damn good song. Hell yeah, dude. I'm, I, I want to hear more. But it's also funny to me that because... I mean, I've heard better songs, songs that are just as good by smaller bands, and they will never get this kind of promotion. They won't be on fucking Vivo and whatever, get that many views, but, you know. Mick Mars Vivo. 28,000 subscribers. 435,000 views, January 25th. All right. That ain't bad. Pretty good. What is this, another one? I'm curious. Okay, that was good. I'm going to pick another McMars vid and just see what it sounds like. Fucking right on. All right, that's a good solid song too, man. Right on. I'm glad he's still making music, dude. The dude, uh, he's been in pain like, what, most of his life from whatever the ailment is that he has. And he keeps keeps going on and persevering and making music, and I love that, dude. So that's cool. I'm glad he's still making music. Uh, I think just judging by those two songs there, I believe what he says versus anything anybody else in Motley Crue says. Yeah, um, <clears throat> some stuff, I think it wasn't on his way out, it was pri- pretty much why he was booted out. He uh, was saying that, that Nikki Six is using backing tracks and, and uh, the fucking drummer, what's his name? Can't think, you know, the guy that boinked Pam Anderson. <laughs> what's his fucking name? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the best thing he did ever for his career uh <laughs> oops leaked the video anyway yeah like there's video evidence of tommy lee and nikki six both using like playing backing tracks not additional tracks but their tracks they weren't playing their shit it's just too bad they didn't get vince neil to use backing tracks so it would be like listenable <laughs> <sighs> fucking my 